Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 11512 Northeast Cooch Street here in Portland. We're located at the rear of the home going through a four inch ABS clean out. We're gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We do have water currently running. And we'll zero out the foot counter here at the base of the clean out. Off we go. Yeah, we do. We just went through a belly there. We also have a deformation here in right off to the right side of the screen. We're going to take a second look at that. The plastic at first appearance looks like it may be starting to split there. Doesn't appear to have caused a flow problem yet, um, but that plastic is concerning because it's likely going to break at some point if it hasn't already started to. We'll, we'll get a better view here in a moment. We just transitioned there into 6 inch 3034.
And right here at 143 feet, we've reached the city main. We're going to go locate that while the line drains out, and we'll get a, a better view of everything. The, kind of the main spot I want to look at is where that deformation and the belly is at. I located the camera head successfully. The line terminates at the main out on Northeast Cooch Street. The line comes around the uh, exits out the rear, and I'm describing this as if you're standing in the road looking at the front door. Uh, wraps around the left side of the house, comes up towards the street, and then crosses under the entire width of the driveway, gets just beyond the edge, the right side edge of the driveway, and turns and heads out to the street. And part of the reason it's it's such a long line, it, it takes kind of a, quite the pathway to get out there. Now we almost all the water is drained off. There's just a little bit from the dishwasher trickling through. We'll pull back here. By the time we get to the belly, it should be fully drained. But that deformation there is was very concerning. I mean, when you get a deformation that large in ABS plastic versus what we're in now, PVC. PVC, in my opinion, is a, is a little bit more malleable, stretchy plastic that handles that stuff better. Where ABS is a, a, a more brittle pipe. It's good pipe, but it, it's it's just more rigid, so when it doesn't stretch quite as nicely. And as far as that thing was was deformed there, if it hasn't started to split already, I, I can almost guarantee you it's going to. It's that, that indentation is probably more than an inch inward. There's only so far that stuff can stretch. And, and I don't know if it's a a rock, sharp rock trying to, you know, the line is resting on or next to. It could also be a large root trying to punch through the line. All the uh, green PVC, the 3034 there looks good, drains nicely. And pretty much all of that, if not the entirety of it, is the city's responsibility. That's in, That's in the roadway there. And then we'll see how this belly looks here. And the, the belly where it's at, the distance it is from the home, uh, if you're going to have a belly, that's where you want to have it 90 feet or so out from the house. It's less likely to block and back up at that point. However, if most of this is under grass and dirt here, I would still recommend repairing it. It's kind of a, a missed and wasted opportunity to not fix it. Uh, that's not to say it's just going to cause blockages all day long, but it, a belly like that can still cause issues. It's just more so related to larger households um, and or you know larger items going down the line. That's where that stuff can really hang you up. And or if someone you know actually puts paper towels down the line or something of that nature, not that you should do that. But that's where that's the situation where where I foresee a belly like this, this distance from the home, actually causing a problem. Now, if that belly then runs under the driveway and it adds you know five, ten grand on the, the price of the repair. That's a situation where I'm not as keen on, on just getting the repair done. But I'm going to come back up to the deformation here. It looks like I can see a plastic edge. If you follow that indentation right at the top, you can see where the plastic starts to turn white. As far as I can tell, that appears to have split. It's I don't get a full-on view of it. If it hasn't already... Like I said, I can pretty much guarantee you it's going to perforate at some point if it hasn't already. So the plastic there is turning white, it's stretching, and it's kind of reaching its limits. I can't see on the back side of it, though, where I really want to see. That's where you get your best view as to whether it's opened up to the ground or not yet. But I am going to recommend a repair here. It's basically right at 100 feet. I'll go mark that with a white X. If repairs are not done, I would rescope the line about every one to two years to keep an eye on things. Because if it is a root or something perforates through there, you've now got a wide open spot where roots can penetrate and stuff can seep in and out of the pipe. Based on the, the, the lack of buildup here, this does not appear to have caused a blockage yet. And it may never. My concern is not so much with blocking as it is opening up to the ground and allowing other issues to occur. All right, just located this spot. It's marked with a big white X. If you're standing in the street looking at the front of the house, it is oh, probably five, six feet or so to the right of the driveway in the front yard. And you're between, I'm, I'm just gonna write four feet now. My locator's bouncing between three foot 10 and four feet deep here. So I'm, for a for hundred feet out, that's incredibly shallow. That, that will make for a, a reasonably easy repair. Most lines that are a hundred feet out, you're, you're, you're more like seven to eight feet deep at that point. And those things are so close, that, that's deformation so close to the belly. If you're going to fix the belly, it's basically in the same repair site. <clears throat> and where we're at right now, as far as standing water goes, we were at about an inch. Now it's getting a bit deeper than that. Now we're more like closer to two inches of standing water.
I just realized my microphone was, was off that whole time there. So um, going back to the belly, I apologize, I'm backtracking here. The belly was about twice as long as I originally thought when the water was still running. It runs from 78 feet to 100 feet. I, I originally thought it may have started around 90. So given the length of that belly there, I would like to see it repaired. It is unfortunately underneath the driveway. The deformation is not. The deformation is out into the grass. The whole entire repair though, from start to finish, if you were to correct the belly and the uh, deformation, um, it's, it's four feet pretty much on the dot across that whole section. I apologize if I'm repeating myself. Uh, as far as a immediate flow problem goes, the belly is more concerning in that regard. If that area where the deformation is at perforates, you're likely going to get roots in there fair, quite easily. And that, that's a more severe problem than the belly is at that point. Um, and if you get a combo of the two, that's certainly not a great one. Um, where the belly is at out there, at, it starts around 80 feet. At the distance that is from the home, I am more concerned about a belly like that causing problems if people are being somewhat neglect, neglectful as to what they're putting down the line, and or if you have a large household, especially with a bunch of kids that are flushing huge amounts of toilet paper down the toilet at once. Uh, that, that belly there shows no evidence of backing up before. It's too clean in there uh, to have done that, but it's certainly possible. So if repairs are not done, try and treat the line a little bit like a septic system. Only put toilet paper, ideally folded toilet paper, don't ball it up. And obviously keep things like paper towels and tampons, stuff like that. If you have a habit of putting flushable wipes and things like that down the line, they're likely to, gonna get hung up in the belly and stuck there. And those items do not break down terribly easy on their own. So as it sits right now, the line is functioning and is draining slower than it should due to the belly. Which is why I recommend the spot repair. Again, originally I apologize. I, I thought the belly was about half the length that it was. Um, I'd like to see it fixed. If not, just be careful as to what you're putting down the line. The deformation, I would certainly keep an eye on if you're not going to do a correction on it. That plastic is stretched so far at this point. Um, I, I have a hard time thinking that it's not going to split open and perforate, especially when you start seeing the plastic turning white. Uh, that It's getting pretty darn close to perforating if it hasn't begun that process already. Uh, other than that, the rest of the line we just scoped there, interior and exterior, appears to be in good shape and has good flow. Again, overall, all combined together, it's functioning but draining slow due to the belly. If you decide to do repair work, make sure a rescope is done to check the work.